I was born in Saigon, Vietnam uh, during the Vietnam War. I didn't think I was going to be a mental health provider until I met a psychiatrist uh, who was working at the Veterans Hospital. It really, really hit home when I met vets who were in the same country that I was born, fighting the cause that my father and my grandfather fought in. The more questions I had about uh, these veterans and their illness, particularly post-traumatic stress disorder from combat, there were very few answers that my teacher or the textbooks could inform. So I chose the field of psychiatry because of this personal connection with veterans uh, and because I was very much interested in solving this riddle of what is PTSD, how does someone develop PTSD, how do they get better, when a patient with depression comes to the clinic, there is no blood test to tell the doctor and the patient that he or she has depression. There's no blood test to tell the patient how severe the depression is, how long it will last, what kind of course the depression will take. That's, that's the major conundrum or gap in the field, that there's nothing physical or biological that we can use to better uh, explain to patients why they're feeling the way that they are. Patients often blame themselves for the fact that they might have depression, but it turns out that that's not true. Depression is a brain disorder, and not many people appreciate that. Depression and post-traumatic stress disorder are rooted in abnormalities of the brain. And using techniques uh, called functional brain imaging, we can actually look at the brain while it's working. And with these advances in neuroimaging, we hope that as we understand the brain better, we'll begin to track and link certain biochemicals, neurochemicals, with certain diseases of the brain, like depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. Biomarkers can be used to guide clinicians and patients towards the treatments and the therapies that are most likely to succeed and get them better quicker um, and more effectively. University of Illinois is exceptional in its diversity of faculty and clinicians, all focused on helping patients with depression. We will make market advances in the next 10 years on how we go about approaching patients with depression and other mental illnesses. And we will work very, very hard to train the next generation of students, medical doctors, psychiatrists, mental health professionals to understand and treat depression even better than they do today. Innovative medicine, it happens here.